Hey guys, Epicenter Brian here. Hey, Christmas is here, and we are going to be doing our annual Christmas dinner today. And we're going to be doing uh, something pretty fun, actually. Everything that we're making today it has been freeze-dried over the last six months or so. So let's take a look at what we're going to be doing. We have white and dark turkey. We have uh, Janet's mashed potatoes. Janet made some stuffing also. Uh, and green bean casserole. And then we also have some eggnog we're going to try. And we've got pumpkin pie and some um, whipped cream dollops that we're going to try also. Now we're going to rehydrate the turkey in turkey broth. This is actually uh, from two, two turkeys. Um, all the broth from two turkeys. So We're also going to try some goodies that a couple of our suppliers sent and also some goodies that came from one of our channel subscribers who's a big fan. His name is Irwin and his family sent us some beautiful pecans. Two big bags and you can see we've already eaten half of one of the bags. And some fudge. Both of these, um, two different kinds, both of these fudges have pecans in them. And then some uh, blackberry spread that we're going to try out as well. Yum! And then Josh from West Coast Paper brought us some beautiful apples. And uh, those are from Dieterine Orchards, about 40 miles up the road. And then Ameriqual sent us a whole bunch of different goodies. And all of these items are made in Indiana. Um, and... Ameriqual is based in Evansville, Indiana, so this is this is really going to be a lot of fun. And so anyway, stay tuned. We're going to get dinner going. I made regular eggnog, and I also made pumpkin spice, and uh, today they vetoed the pumpkin spice, so we're going to use the regular. There we go. And that's what it looks like, all crystallized. And... We're going to try this in the blender, so hopefully this works, and we're going to have to guesstimate on the amount of water. So let's give it a shot, put enough water to cover this, and then uh, start the blending. What do you think, more water? No, try it like that, and okay. then we'll out, you can always add more, All right? right? There we go. See if this works. This would be kind of fun because you know you can only get eggnog at this time of year, and so to be able to have this in the uh, summer to put in your coffee. Okay, that works well. Now, if we just had some rum, we'd be all set. No kidding. <laughs> We're going to get the broth ready um, to rehydrate the turkey. Now, remember, this is two. Two pots worth of um, turkey juice from boiling the bones from two turkeys. So I'm going to use maybe maybe a quarter of this for the broth. That look about right. Maybe a little more. Maybe a little more. Yeah. That should be good. Whoops. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And so we're going to do that and get the turkey ready to go. We're going to add the freeze-dried turkey to our pan. We have dark meat and we have white meat. Oh, wow. Look at that. Do you want me to add all of it? Yeah. There's the dark. Ooh, that is light. I'm just going to pour okay, it in. Beautiful. And now for the white meat. Oh. That's a lot of turkey, man. Oh, yeah. Well, we, we need leftovers, don't we? And we may need to make up a little bit more juice here, but we'll see how it goes. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. I think that's perfect. Do you think that's enough? Yep. Okay. So are you working on the gravy right now? Yep. Okay. Janet's green bean casserole. We really love this stuff. We love it so much that 
Janet made a whole batch one night, and we sat down and we ate the whole <laughs> casserole. That was our dinner. <laughs> it was awesome. Okay, this will take a little work to get out of here. We didn't have enough room, so we're doing this in, in two containers. Yum. The green bean casserole looks good. Yeah, rehydrated very nicely. Awesome. Except it's sloppy. Either that or I'm sloppy. <laughs> now you have to have crunchy onions on the top. And we happen to have some caramelized onions that we did a while back. And we're going to use that to top this. Green bean casserole with Brian's french fried onions. <laughs> mm. Mm -mm -mm. What's next? We're doing stuffing. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody loves stuffing, don't they? Okay. The stuffing rehydrated wonderfully. Oh, great. Mm. Look at that. How do you like the smell of that? Mm. Potatoes. These are the um, little golden potatoes. Baby goldens. These and, are real potatoes. And by what the way. did you put in them? Um, just butter and milk and a little bit of salt. That was it. Okay. Ooh, and we're going to have leftovers of the mashed potatoes. That's okay. We can make potato cakes tomorrow. <laughs> These are the real deal. Ah, I oh, spilled. Got it on our t clean table. I'll clean it up. Okay. <laughs> this is what I would recommend. These potatoes are going to be really good, but I probably would have rehydrated one pouch at a time. This is a lot of potatoes to rehydrate at once, and um, I can still see some little freeze-dried bits in in the, the mash. So Freeze-dried potato flakes. Um, yeah, but these are ours. <laughs> <laughs> so... Getting some cheese and meats and not freeze dried things to snack on. Um, it's, it's getting to be lunchtime and we're getting antsy. We got some pumpkin pie freeze dried. Oh my gosh! There it is! <laughs> With whipped cream. I put whipped cream on there. Yeah. The only way to eat pumpkin pie, <laughs> unless you're dairy free. Yeah, this is kind of an experiment, so... An experiment. Um, it's fun. But we're not rehydrating those, right? No, we're just going to eat it like that. Good. Just little snacky awesome. poos. Yeah. Snacky poos. And then we also have a whole bag of little whipped cream dollops. I think we'll just wait on those. Um, this we'll, is a lot We'll see food. how this goes. This is a lot of oh, food. Yeah. Get it, Willie. We have spillage. <laughs> um, yeah, so there's the pumpkin pie. It looks like it was cut into little strips. And yep. Yeah, I did two of those. I got them on sale for like three dollars and something, three something for the Ooh. piece during Thanksgiving. So I thought this was biscotti because of the way Brian had uh, cut it up, but this is pumpkin pie. It is with and, whipped cream on it. Yeah, and it seems to be fashioned in the way that the Mountain House Neapolitan ice cream and the ice cream sandwiches are fashioned. It's a, uh, it's a, it's crunchy. Well, I'm told it's going to be crunchy and it'll melt in your mouth and become pie in your mouth. I'm not going to eat it right now because it'll spoil my Christmas dinner. Oh, no, dinner. no. You, you have to have a, you have to really? have a bite. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm going to go ahead and, and start in on this big one. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I warned you. Mmm. What do you mm -hmm. think of that? Mmm. <laughs> Start writing into Mountain House. I'm asking for this. That's whipped cream right there. It is. 
Mm -hmm. That was out of a can, a spray can. Mm. That's good. Whose recipe? I don't know. I, I just bought that at a oh. uh, grocery outlet. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Worth doing? I'm happy. Oh, look at the turkey. Yeah. Look at the green bean casserole. So, um, you want to, um, you know, kind of use the slotted spoon to get your turkey out. I may have put a little too much water in our pan. Things seem to be floating. Yeah, yeah they're floating, but that's okay. That's okay. That's all right. I've seen it like that before. That looks good, doesn't it, John? Oh, yeah. There's dark and white meat. Uh -huh. Yeah. Sort of separated. Well, sort of. I did my best. <laughs> okay. All right. And then green bean casserole with Brian's caramelized onions on top. Yeah, these things are floating. You have way too much water <laughs> <Yeah>. underneath. <laughs> Look at this one. <laughs> and the stuffing. Oh, yeah. And... Rehydrated, freeze-dried Yukon Gold potatoes. Yukon Gold, good choice. Good choice on the Yukon Gold. <laughs> and this has been sitting for a while, so it's it's kind of thick. Um, this was made with freeze-dried turkey broth and just turned into gravy. Mm. So we'll see. We'll see how it works. Too bad Jenny's not here to work on the gravy. I know. For us. <laughs> just for just for Jenny. <laughs> Freeze dried gravy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we'll have All to right. we'll have to tell her how it was. Yeah. All right. Let's dig in. Okay, come on, Jessica. This is awesome. Are you gonna put that gravy over everything, John? Not the green bean casserole. Ah. That would kind of ruin the green bean casserole. Mm. That's a standalone dish. <laughs> oh, Janet's already chomping. How is it? Well, How are we doing? I'm just testing. How's the green bean casserole? Is it good? Wow. Um, this is pretty darn good. Should Mountain House make this? All um, of it? Wow. I like the green bean casserole. That's tasty. Mm. The turkey is freeze dried? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. And, and rehydrated in its own broth. Mm. Okay. That's a big thumb way up. Cool. You're you're very happy over there, aren't you? I'm just eating and enjoying this. <laughs> I'm really, I'm not surprised. I'm pleasantly pleased, though. Um, everything turned out really good. What I do you think, think turned out the best? Um, the stuffing turned out really good. It tastes just like it did on Thanksgiving. The turkey is awesome. The gravy turned out good. The potatoes. You can't even tell we're freeze dried and flaked. Um, and the green bean casserole with the onions on top. It's the onions. Mm -hmm. It's all about the onions, right, Shay? I wouldn't. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to tell any of this. It all fools me. Really? Really? All of it? All of it? Yeah. Wow. That is impressive. Well, uh, now I need to get a plate ready and try some of these goodies out. We were just discussing the green bean casserole. Um, it is better right out of the oven. Um, however, um, it, it's it's very tasty. It's it's very good freeze dried. It would be great on a camping or hunting trip. Um, but as far as the caramelized onions go, um, they've been sitting as the topping on the rehydrated uh, casserole. So they've started to rehydrate and they got a little chewy. So we think that if you just put them in a separate bowl and add those as a topping once you serve your plate they won't have time to rehydrate and get chewy um, yeah. because they're really really good crispy they're good chewy but they're better crispy so better crispy that's all you want to show everything is better when it's crispy yeah you want to show off those caramelized onions yeah look at 
like that. Right there on the top. On top of those beans. Mm. Yes, indeed. All right. You got into Irwin's fudge, didn't you? I did. Which one are you having? Right now I'm having the basic chocolate fudge with pecans. I already scarfed down a piece of the it's maple white chocolate with pecans. So good. Is there one you like better? I love them both. <laughs> I would eat both. Of them. If it was up to me, I would eat both of those by myself and not share. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this Willie. is so good. Look, Willie got in my picture. <laughs> Let's see, John. He got in my picture that I just sent to Katie and the girls. <laughs> Photo bomb. <laughs> oh, Photo bomb. There he is. <laughs> You're trying the pumpkin pie? Mm -hmm. Was that worth doing or was that just a total novelty? Awesome. Total novelty, but it's worth it. <laughs> yeah, this is really fun. Hey, you I like the whipped cream? Oh, our oh eggnog. we have eggnog. Let's have some eggnog. Yeah. Part of Taste of India? India. No, no, it's not. It's something that we bought. Oh. What, what do you think of that? The eggnog. Um, now that it's refrigerated, it's a little creamier. It does, it's different than traditional eggnog, I think, because it was blended. It's less liquidy. It's much more, it's much more frothy. Um, but the consistency of water to eggnog powder ratio was spot on. Good. This is really good. I'm not going to drink a lot of it because we don't have very much, but it's thick and bubbly and eggnoggy. Yay. <laughs> you just got into Irwin's fudge, didn't you? This maple fudge. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Like mother, like oh, daughter. Oh my gosh. <laughs> This is so good. Oh my gosh. Wow. Mm. With those fresh pecans in it. Mm. <laughs> I'm in heaven. <laughs> divine. Totally divine. Mm. So I'm just eating this, right? And I'm talking and I'm eating and I'm not paying attention to the fact that this has been freeze-dried. So <clears throat> doesn't get any better than that, right? Yeah, that's, that's good. That, that's thumbs up then. <laughs> we like it. How, I'm glad how you you're like, happy with that. How do you like the turkey? How'd that turn out? It's very good. It, it tastes like you just cut it in the kitchen in the other room. How long ago did you put this up? That turkey was a couple months ago. Yeah. Oh. Well, it tastes very good. <laughs> Thumbs up. It was rehydrated today. It hasn't yes. been sitting around. <laughs> no, we, we just we, rehydrated. We started around noon. But, you know, we wanted to keep it, keep it warm because we've been doing different taste tests as we go of the different <laughs> items. Yeah. Huh? And you're going to have to try the pumpkin pie. <clears throat> Well, I'm, I have to admit, I am not a huge pumpkin pie fan. I should have brought Chris along. He is a huge pumpkin pie fan. Well, we can, we can put some in a little bag. And, and Maybe that's what I should do is yeah. take some Let's back for him. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays from the epicenter. That was fun. That was good. That was really nice. I want to see it. <laughs> <laughs> I think we did good. We, we did, did great. Too. <laughs>